Well, hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to this wonderful outing that we love to call Boiler Makers. Today is a special episode. We have a drink of perfection, a drink of nostalgia. The first drink that I ever took. Simply put, the Irish Car Bomb. We've come a long way. We've tried a lot of beers. We've tried a lot of whiskey. We've mixed them together. And we found some interesting combination. As a specialty, if I could turn back time, da 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 da, if I could find a way, da 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 da, we have finally hit 100 subscribers. That means there's about a good 60 of you that have actually loved my content. I take back those words that hurt you and you'd stay and the other 40 i assume is just my mother creating false email addresses just to subscribe over and over again so to all of you i love you from the bottom of my heart if i could reach the stars da 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 i give them all to you ba da 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 Dun. That's why I wore this floral shirt to bring back the sexiness, the loveliness that we started this show together in the beginning. We got to look a little pretty. And you love me, love me like the way you do. For those of you who do not know, I have been 21 years old since I was 19. When going to the bar for the first time, I recommend, please be ready. They will surprise you when they actually usher you past the door. I was surprised that I made it past the guy at the front door. The bartender asked what I wanted. I presented an ID that clearly was not me and I froze. I did not know what to say. Excitedly, I exclaimed, give me a car bomb. Uh, it sounded manly, it sounded worthy. I expected orange juice and a little bit of vodka. I don't know, but instead, I was greeted with this fantastic explosion. This great malty chocolatiness that just mixed together so well. This creamy delight plus a little bit of manliness mixed in with a smoothness that I could not describe. Today we are going to rediscover the drink of my virginity. Simply put, the Irish Car Bomb. Jameson Irish Whiskey, established in 1780, the smooth Irish whiskey was made the John Jameson way. Born in Aloha, Scotland in 1740, with his four sons, created a whiskey dynasty like no other in Ireland, whose reputation still lives on to this day. Living by the motto, live a bit more, and fear a bit less. Mr. John Jameson's distillery rose above the rest, establishing one hell of a name for himself. Jameson was known for experimenting and grew public interest with his unique use of mash bill of malted and unmalted barley. As you can see, I've tried it, but we're gonna try it again because it is the drink of my youth. The golden color to it is gorgeous. I can honestly say this is the gold that I compare all the drinks to. It's sweet in a way that a flower would be. There's a big floral scent to it. It's almost like a sweet wood, if you would. Ha! <laughs> Ooh. The aftertaste stays with you in a while in that burning sense, but it's definitely a good thing. That heat rushes up with you right at the beginning, but it dissipates very quickly, and then it just skips over the throat. It's straight into the chest. You feel it in your heart. Jameson is a staple of any bar around. Unless they are a beer-only bar, they're going to have Jameson back there. Look for the smooth green bottle, the red top. It's not the most fanciest thing around, but it's something I go back to over and over again. 
Jameson will always and forever have a special place in my heart. Mr. Jameson, you knew what you were doing. Like Jameson Whiskey, Guinness hails from Dublin. Arthur Guinness, the first master brewer at St. James Gate Brewery, delivered this malty masterpiece to the world in 1759. By 1860, Guinness could be found all over the world with its classic harp logo, representing the national emblem of Ireland. Each stout contains a plastic widget that releases a nitrogen gas upon opening, creating the creamy head, an iconic surge that only Guinness has. This lovely is a stout beer, my favorite type of beer because of its maltiness. Be careful with these because they simply go down too easy. We pop it. Oh, you can definitely hear it. Look at it just bubble up. It's just gorgeous. Again, that nitrogen gas is being let out in full, which is why we're seeing a lot more head come out at the beginning. Just a bit. Oh, God. It's like that perfect cup of coffee. Mm. My mouth is salivating just thinking about it, just in that first test alone. It's creamy, it's good. There's a bitterness, there's definitely almost a dark chocolateness that comes with it. There's not a lot of bubbliness to it the way that you would expect from a generic beer. It doesn't hit the top of the palate, it doesn't hit the front of the tongue, it goes straight to the back. It, it's just... What is the final ingredient when it comes to the Irish car bomb? We've talked about our whiskey, we talked about our beer, now let's talk about the single mother of the group, the one that needs that little bit of extra just to get through the day. We're simply talking about Bailey's Irish Cream. This lovely beauty is complimentary to any cup of coffee. You're making a cup of hot cocoa, a little bit of hot chocolate, add a little Baileys to the mix. It has a chocolatey, creamy taste that makes anything smooth. We have three things from Ireland coming together. This lovely beauty is actually 17% alcohol by volume. You can take a shot by itself, but you might like it too much that you'll finish the whole thing. Hence why I bought the smaller bottle. It comes in a variety of flavors. One I'm actually excited to try is going to be the salted caramel. The difficulty with this mixture today is that we're going to try to get three different ingredients into this little guy and we pour. We're gonna open up our whiskey and we're going to do our best to get about two thirds worth of just our whiskey. As you can see, we have just a little bit of extra space. We're gonna keep that space so that we can fill it with our Baileys. And there it is. You can't really see it, but there's just this layer of where you see the whiskey rise. You can see a little bit of the creamer that just kind of stays here in the middle. And of course, some of it has actually gone down into the beer. Ooh, wee. The Jameson definitely hits you first. You know it's there, but then the rush of the Guinness beer plus the, the this Irish liqueur comes all together. It leaves a sweetness. Irish car bomb, if you haven't tried one, ask for one. Make sure that they don't give you just Guinness and just Jameson. <laughs> if I could reach the stars, da 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 da. I'd give them all to you. Ba -da 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 -da. So we're going for the full boiler maker shot. Some bars will actually have two individual shooters, two individual shot glasses that they'll dump into a full glass. To me, it doesn't really mix the best way with that. So we take it and we put it right in. Ooh, that cream! Ooh. Ah, 
It's like a melted ice cream that you just had a bowl under it. You took it all and you just drank the last bit of it. Your mouth is watering. It was just so wonderful tantalizing it went through the tongue too quickly you're a little bit mad that you didn't take your time with it because of how good it is you are having trouble trying to speak afterwards because your mouth is just salivating with just want of just a precious of just a way that you cannot describe but you know you want another one it's good, it's chocolatey, it's creamy, it's smooth, it's a bit flat, but you learn to love it. Ooh. We bring our glass forward, we top it off with just a bit of beer, let that creaminess flow. Ooh, wait, it's all right. Look at the way that the suds actually come down and it rises above to make that smooth black color. Then you'd love me, love me, like you used to do. And we got our whiskey, our golden whiskey, of which I compare every other whiskey to. We can't forget our sweet baby the Baileys. We add it straight to the top because why not let it mix just a bit? Boom. Thank you to all of my friends. Thank you to all of my family. Thank you to all of you random people who came today to watch me butcher major top 40 songs and singing and what these drinks mean to us today. Thanks to you, the ones who joined me in my journey to find out what the perfect boiler maker is. I think we have something good that's coming forward. We're gonna continue to expand on what this is and hopefully you'll stick with us. Thanks for being here. Next time.